Howdy folks, it's time to talk about my next DIY project. But first, if you've been a uh, subscriber to my channel for a while, you probably remember last year when I did the blue lap steel. It's actually one of my more popular videos. But I made a blue lap steel out of a two by four C6 tuning. It's got a P90 pickup, volume pot, things like that. Came out really nice. Then earlier this year, I did a red lap steel. And that one I used a Strat style pickup in it had open gear tuners, had the open D tuning, um, volume and tone pot, came out really nice once again. Pretty pleased with them. I've done a few videos with them. You guys seem to like them. Well, today the family grows with the white lap steel, and here she is. So uh, I had to change it up a little bit. So since the red one had a P90 and the blue, or excuse me, the blue one had a P90 and the red one had a standard single coil, this one has a humbucker, you can see. Uh, the uh, blue one had a through body bridge. This one has a, um, a standard kind of strat style bridge, I guess you'd call that, or a hardtail bridge. Um, this one has Grover style tuners where uh, the red one has open gear tuners. Um, and you can also see the obvious white and black. Now, like the others, it has this sort of uh, pearlescent fingerboard here, and I got that from CB Giddy just like the other two. Uh, cbgetty.com. These Grover tuners and this pickup came out of an Epiphone dot. Uh, this bridge is just a part I had laying around. Um, the nut there I made uh, just with a piece of um, angle, uh, metal angle, angle metal, whatever they call that now, uh, aluminum, and I painted it black to make it match. And uh, then on the back here, I have the jack, and you can see it's a black strat jack, which is funny because I don't even play strats, um, but I found this part a couple years ago at the Dallas Guitar Show, and I bought it just because I was like, I've never seen a black one like that, so I bought it, and it's been in my parts box, and there we go. Um, so this one has no volume, no tone. It's just humbucker straight wired to the jack, so this, this one's hot, but I really like the way the aesthetic came out. Um, what I did is I drilled a hole in through here that goes right into the pickup cavity. Um, and then the wire runs down and then of course I soldered that jack on and then put the plate over it. So the, the electronics are very, very simple in this one. Uh, the bridge is just screwed right into there. The On the nut here, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but I used my uh, razor files from, uh, from Stumac and um, cut all the string grooves there so that came out really nice and of course you see the 500 there on the headstock and that's because as of today I'm at 488 subscribers and I told you guys I'm going to give something away when I hit 500 so this is to commemorate 500 before it happens so this may well be the instrument that I give away so uh, if you know anybody that uh, likes this sort of content send them the channel tell them to subscribe because if I get 12 more it's going to be a giveaway. And on the back, you can see I did this for you guys. There's uh, some stuff there, my signature and uh, serial number on this one is 22. But that this is my 500 subscriber memorial instrument. And, uh, you know, it really, really came out nice. I'm super pleased with it. Um, I think it fits nicely with the family because we've got a red, white and blue one now. And uh, they've all got kind of some different features. Um, this one is noticeably shorter than the red one or the blue one because it doesn't have the control cavity. It's just very, very svelte. But um, I'm really happy with the way it came out. And oh, one other thing that I did with this one, I decided to do a different tuning. So you remember the blue one's got the C6 tuning. The red one's got the open D tuning. This one has double G. And if you don't know what double G, double G tuning is, it's just G, B, D, G, B, D. So it's two G chords. That's why they call it double G. So as you strum, strum it, you just get two G chords an octave apart if you strum it open. And then of course, as you bar it, you'll get uh, just the chord moving up the scale. So, um, you know, pretty neat. So I've got three different lap steels now, all very different, all a little different aesthetic, all very different tunings, and they all sound pretty different. So, you know, segue there, let's give this baby a little uh, sound test. Okay guys, sitting out here on the patio, I got the new lap steel, I got the cigar box amp, and I was just kind of plunking around trying to figure something out. And I accidentally came across this here uh, chord progression, so I'm gonna do this one for you.
white stripes on the white lap steel. Why not? 